welcome to another episode here on a new life in France. I've got a very nondescript background behind me, but just behind the camera, it's a real surprise. I was really surprised when I parked up, had a look, everything looked fairly nondescript to me, and then I went in and went, there's a few wow bits here. Without further ado, let's go and have a look. So we're on the ground floor now of the main house. The main house has been the family house for years and years and years and actually my feeling for this particular house itself and then the barn attached to it which I'll show you in a moment is this was probably a farm at some stage just looking at one or two of the other properties around that have probably been added on through the years. So this was the main probably farmhouse many many years ago and what I actually see with this particular property downstairs and upstairs it just needs a bit of TLC and a few renovation bits you can see where the owners have done bits as well they've probably been focused on the project next door which I'm going to show you but also as well when I look around here there's so much opportunity when we do these videos these videos are about showing you properties you can click on the link, you can go and look at the agent's photos and some of the videos. But what we like to be able to do here and what I like to be able to impart is just a little bit of my thoughts looking around. What would I do? What could you do? And that's why we have this kind of narration to it, just to bring a little bit more to life. On the ground floor here, as you come through the entrance door, we've got a dining room, come sitting room, come kind of snug area in this big reception room. Got another room to the front as well, currently as a home office could easily be a dining room on its own. This could be the snug or a sitting room. Take a few things down and really open it up. We then come around the corner to the kitchen. The kitchen to me is a sort of L-shaped kind of galley kind of something. And then next to it, you've got a sort of shower and wet room and then a separate toilet. Really for me around that corner, take the shower out, take the toilet out and make one big kitchen, a really nice big country kitchen. That's what I would do, but it definitely needs something to happen there. To the side of the kitchen, you've got a door that goes into the garage. The garage currently has got the boiler in it. It's also used as a pantry area, but could be returned back into a garage with access from the main road that's just going through this very small hamlet. You then go to the upstairs and you go up the stairs and we'll go up there in a moment. But for me, there's lots of bits of plasterboard stud work that has been put on for a reason, maybe not finished, bits as well so for me there's a lot you could just take out and it would just bring a little bit more life to it and then decorate it and bring it back to probably what it once was and when I take you around the rest of the properties here on this complex you will see that the owners really have spent their time on the other two properties let's go upstairs if you are a regular viewer with some of the bigger houses we do, I tend to end up on the landing and give you a little description of what's going on up here from the landing. It's a little bit of a labyrinth up here, so you'll have to bear with me. There is a room just behind the camera as we're, as we're here. Smallish room, probably can't call it a bedroom and I don't think the agents call it a bedroom, but for me it could be. But equally it could also be a really nice home office there. Views looking out, nice, lovely, compact. Then got two further bedrooms next to each other here, sort of two biggish bedrooms, no facilities to them, but just two biggish bedrooms. Big windows looking out, really nice rooms. And again, a lick of paint, really bring them back up. Just over my shoulder is a door. Now, sort of landing here and the balustrade and the corridor, it all sort of narrows. Go through to there, there is another bedroom. Nice big bedroom, actually. It's probably the biggest out of all of them. So on this floor at the moment, we've got three bedrooms and another room. Again, through that door, there is another door, and that door goes into a void, which is pretty much not, it's not the attic, because we're not in the attic, but it's a big void that goes the whole length of the house here. They've started to do the insulation, they've started to put the hangers in place as well. That could easily be turned into more rooms. The moment it is just used for storage, but it could be there for that. So as you can see, when you're looking all the way down that, that's a big space to be able to use. Again, for me, when I look over and I keep talking about this door there and that bit of wall there, that can come out. That's just stud walling. That can come out. That will actually make the landing bigger, make everything bigger. So there's lots of things you do. Yes, you're going to have to spend some money. Yes, you're going to have to do it. But this has the potential to be a beautiful, beautiful house. When I take you to the other two properties, as I keep saying, you'll see where the money has been spent and where the owners have been really concentrating their efforts. But here also has the potential. So remember today I'm showing you a complex, three properties with some land. 
here inside what I'm going to call the annex, but it's not an annex, it's its own building. You could call it a bungalow, a pavilion, whatever you wanted to call it. So it does have a ground floor, also has a first floor as well. So when we look at what this property is, it's been renovated and probably all put together about 12, 15 years ago from talking to the owners. When I've been up in the rafters, you can see it's been finished really well. So you can see all of the beams up there, you can see all of the felting, and obviously from the outside, the roof is really, really sound. So it's really good from that perspective and everything else throughout is really good. So you come in through the front door, you come into the kitchen, you've then got a utility as well, you've got a separate toilet. So you're into the kitchen diner and then you come into the sitting room. Really nice and compact and light and airy. You've got French windows going out onto the garden. And then we make our way up to the first floor. On the first floor, there is a bedroom at the top currently, um, used for grandchildren, I believe, coming to visit. There are also two more, I'm gonna say rooms, they're not, they're two more spaces. Now for me, you could turn those spaces Potentially you could put a bathroom upstairs and you could put a second bedroom up there as well. There's a lot you could do up there and it's all ready to go from that perspective. When we come back downstairs, there's just one more little twist and this currently is used as a relative's residence. And on this ground floor, what we also have is we also have another bedroom. So just as you come in off the door, there's off that front door there, you just take a little door and you come into another bedroom here on the ground floor. And it also has a shower with a bathroom as well. That's also worth noting because it is on the ground floor. So you can see how this particular property has been used. Now you could use it in any way that you wanted, but this is the second property of this complex of three. Inside here, I'm really struggling to find the words. It is an old barn, but to say that just, I don't know, it just isn't right. And even when you come off the road to this complex, because it's not just this one building them in, it's still fairly nondescript. And again, that's not belittling it, it's just fairly nondescript. And you just come in to the courtyard and you see this building. It is an old barn, but you would have no idea it was apart from the archway, which is where the original doors would have been. Every single bit of stonework here has been repointed inside, outside. The floor has been meticulously finished. It is the most stunning floor. And I suppose I'm in awe of this because you don't expect this where it is. If we were in a very rural location going down some long sweeping lane, you might expect something like this. We're in a small hamlet, and I just didn't expect this. The owners have finished this so, so well. Downstairs, we have got the most fantastic wood burner. I have never seen anything like it in my life. It is like a huge hedgehog, but it's probably one of the most efficient wood burners you could buy. And the chimney goes all the way up through the building, giving excess heat throughout the house. This is very open plan downstairs, which is very un-French like. So it's a very open plan with this sitting room and the dining room and the kitchen and the utility room. And it goes so high. The staircase going up is just waiting for the balustrades on the side and the balustrades at the top. The reason they haven't been put on yet is so you can get the beds into the rooms. And when you go upstairs, there are three bedrooms. There's a bathroom, there's a separate toilet, bathroom, the shower in there. The tiles in there look like wallpaper and they're tiles. On the mezzanine, it could be a play area. It could be an office. You could even partition it. Why would you want to? You could even partition to put a fourth bedroom in. This is just stunning. The doors, the entrance, the window, going outside, the seating area, just every little detail is brilliant. It really is. And again, I'm speechless because of the position. I really, really am. So within this complex, you have this most beautiful of houses. You have the ne house next door. You have the house across the courtyard. You have the garden surrounding it. The potential and the opportunity is endless. I, I love this. I just, I love it. So I'm going to give you a moment to enjoy the walkthrough and a few more shots just of this particular building. I really hope
hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I just couldn't resist but actually finish the film back in this lovely building. So let's just recap on what we have seen today. We're buying a complex. Sounds rather grand, but we're actually buying three houses. So we've got the main house, which is an older house and does need work to it. We've then got this beautiful barn conversion. We've also then got what I call the annex, but it's another building as well. So when we look at all of those together, what do we have? So the main house, we've got bedrooms, we've got so much scope to make it just a beautiful home again. In this barn, with the open plan, the wood burners, the outside space, upstairs with a mezzanine and bedrooms and just every detail done. With the final house, the annex or the bungalow or the pavilion, whatever we want to call it, we've got scope upstairs. We've got two bedrooms, we've got the kitchen and diner and then the sitting room and the beautiful gardens. Been so well looked after. We've also then got a little bit of woodland, small bit of woodland. We've got the gardens to the back of here. Across the road we've got more garden as well and a little above ground pool, all the chickens roaming around. It is over 600,000 euros, but it is so worth looking at for the potential of what you could do with this. I think for me personally, you would have one of them as your house and then you would rent the other two out. So would you rent out this beautiful barn I'm stood in? Would you then convert the main house and rent that out as well? Would you put a pool out in the back garden area there? I probably would. Would you potentially live in the main house or the annex? Would you do a few more things as even that small little building out there? Could you do something with that? So I think there's a lot you could do. So for me, a great property. Come and look at the property, get in touch with the agent. It's a real surprise. And I think you might have sensed that when I did the opening of this particular episode. It's just a surprise. Everywhere you turn is a surprise. The potential of what you could do with it is a surprise. Really hope you've enjoyed the episode. Make sure you subscribe, press this subscribe button at the bottom. Remember each and every week we bring you at least two properties. We bring you a French lesson every Friday evening. We bring you news and story throughout the week and we also bring you amazing blogs on our website, a new life in France dot com. So much more to share with you each and every week. Look forward to you joining us next time.